Hey there, so today we have another beer talk and this is a discussion about um, what happens <laughs> when someone like me uh, sends an email to a brewery about quote unquote bad beer. I think it's a great question. I mean, I've done it a few times. Um, I mean, I don't think of myself as anybody important, you know, beer review channel, whatever, but like I am also an advanced Cicerone, so I think I have some amount of, you know, chops to you know give you feedback on your beer. And I would say you get the whole gamut if you do that. Um, some people will not reply. Um, I think I can, eh, who cares? I, I, name brews, who cares? Name brews. Woven Water, Yapas. Actually, funny thing, I, I believe Woven Water actually signed me up for their mailing list. So not only did I email you about an off flavor beer, but then you sent me spam. <laughs> think about that one, bang. And then didn't reply. <laughs> didn't reply to my email, but sent me spam. Thanks a lot. Uh, not that like, you know, I have any qualms with that. It's just funny. There's also the, um, it actually reminds me a little bit of uh, a, a brewery that I really respect, which would be Urban, Urban Chestnut, a uh, German-based uh, brewery out of, I think, St. Louis, or German style brewery. And uh, I, I reviewed the Schnickelfeets, and I, I, I emailed them, and, and actually the, 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 the production manager, like the quality, the, the quality uh, control guy emailed me back. He's like, hey, man, like, we don't know what you're talking about. Like, We've had no complaints yet. Like we, 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 you know, we, we check our beers and he was actually like really ambitious. And he's like, Hey, do you have any of the beer left? Cause we'll take it. Like you can ship it to us. And we'd like to know if there's microbes and cause they have a lab obviously. And they, they, they would love to know if their beers has, you know, any spoilage or organisms, bacteria, infection, all that cool stuff. And I replied that I'm like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like I obviously threw it out and I sent this email like, you know, a week ago, like I'm not gonna, I didn't hold on to the beer for you. I'm sorry, uh, but that's the first time I ever hear hear a brewery like you want the beer and want to exact their process. And um, some breweries have actually just sent me beer, which I don't expect because you know they have a you know beer license and and I, granted they're not selling me beer, but I believe breweries are not supposed to be sending me beer even if I didn't pay for it. You know, it's a legal issue and all that stuff. So they're offered like, hey man, like if you ever come by this tap room, like we'll buy you beer, like. You know, that's a cool offer because, you know, obviously I, I'm not flying to St. Louis for free beer, but uh, the fact, like, if I was a local, that'd be cool. And, uh, you know, I understand if they can't offer me to, to offer to send me beer. Um, hell, um, Half Acre uh, once sent me just swag because, you know, that was really nice of them. Um, oh, uh, uh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Blues. I had a low fill once. And if you guys don't know, like, literally, like, I picked up the can and it was like half full. And I was like, what's going on here? And so they just sent me some swag and Bells has sent me some swag. And so it's really nice. Um, I don't expect beer, I don't expect swag. I just like, I, you know, I wanna give people feedback. Like this is something I'm really passionate about and something I love to do. And I don't like, you know, the big one for me, like I'm so lucky that I get to, you know, review beer on the channel and like I sort of can write it off because you guys watch the video and I get some amount of ad revenue. Definitely d dropped in the last X amount of years. But, um, but it sucks for the hundreds and thousands of other people that, like, A, are going to get hurt by your brand, like, you know, like, oh, like, this brewery sucks. It's so easy to say that. Do you know how fickle people are to be just like, oh, I had one bad beer. I'm never buying them again. They had, this, they had the sucky beer. Like, I don't want that. And then the other scary, 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 scary thing is, imagine that's a first-time craft beer drinker. You know, now they are completely rejected, uh, have, have completely rejected craft beer, and they're back to their Mick Ultras and their Budweiser, their, you know, Trulies, you know, liquor, you know, like, like, I really want craft to survive and we're suffering right now. Like, we need everybody to be drinking it. And so like, if I can give feedback so that so that people don't get burnt by bad beer, then, you know, ideally, it helps the brewery and it helps the craft beer. And you know, like, I love craft beer. I, you guys love craft beer. It's not a greedy thing. Like, I, I don't send these emails to be like, Oh, man, I can't wait for that package of cool stuff to get them. You know, like, that's not my goal, dude. Like, I don't really care if send me stuff, don't send me stuff, whatever. Like, I just want to give you some feedback. And if, if, if you respect it and hopefully it helps your project and help your beer like that's great like um so you get the whole gamut of like you know um issues so anyway the urban chestnut my, going back to that story um so anyway that that hefeweizen was definitely spoiled at some point they said they had no complaints obviously i couldn't send them beer to uh, quality control but i also uh replies like listen like sometimes like your palate can be off like there's times i review beer i'm like that was a one-off. Like, I don't know if the next day I would say the same about that beer. And that's that's how 
humble you should be about your palate. But like, yo, literally right before that beer, the Schnickel Fitz, I had a live Oaks Hefeweizen. My palate was calibrated. If, if that makes any sense, calibrated. Like, like if, <laughs> if you go to McDonald's and eat a cheeseburger and then back to back eat another fast food burger and like, right? Like you should know what a fast food burger tastes like. And so like if something's off on that second one, then obviously something was off, right? Like, so like I had a world-class, not, yeah, there you go. McDonald's makes a world-class quote unquote, like fast food chain, you know, it's exactly what it is. Like, you know, it's like a Budweiser, like Budweiser, exactly what it is. Um, quality or whatever, it is what it is. It's exactly what it is, right? So Live Oaks Hefeweizen is really good. Like it was exactly what it is. That's what Hefeweizen should taste like. And then boom, I hit the Schneckel for it. So I'm like, whoa, we are not in the Hefeweizen world. This is sour. Like there's something off. So um, I had some like confidence to it. And I, they never replied. <laughs> I hope they didn't have an infection. Maybe it was just my can. Who knows? But I was very sure there's something wrong with that beer. So maybe I'll try to get some Schneckel Fitz for you guys and uh, try it again. But um, just a little conversation about like, what it's like when you send out these emails. I, I thankfully, um, I would say a majority of breweries do reply and they appreciate it. Like they want your feedback and they want you to be a repeat customer, you know, like the, the no replies or the, um, are, are, are few and far between. And, you know, uh, feedback's good. I mean, like, like the sad thing is if you don't give them feedback, do you know what they're looking at? They're going to go to an untapped to find out like untapped scores, like that aggregate, Bottle cap is the, the feedback that they can rely on on, on, on on feedback on their beer. No, I'm sure, hell, there are breweries that pay <laughs> for marketing firms to get actual feedback and taste, you know, like, you know, Boston Beer Company, you know, I listened to like a podcast about it. Like, they're, 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 they want your feedback. So just like, if there's something bad or even great, you know, that's a cool, that's a sad thing about me. I don't even send out the good emails. I just give you the post review right there. But the bad ones are the ones that I end up sending emails about and, um, yeah, you guys uh, find some bad beer out there, don't hesitate to send an email out to the brewery, I'm sure, or the brewery. Uh, I'm sure they would love the feedback and, um, you know, let's keep craft strong. And again, the scary thing is when craft has, thankfully beer has gotten so good, you know, craft has got, it's blown up and beer has gotten so good. But um, when people get burnt, it really hurts craft and hurts a brewery, hurts craft, hurts the things that we love right now. So until next time, cheers later.